Hey friends, huge leap forward in the world of custom objects. So check this out. Here I am in the custom objects section um, of my settings and you can see the custom objects I've created here. Check out this new button, create custom object. Historically, in order to define a new custom object, you've had to use API calls and they haven't been complicated, but they're scary for someone like me who does not do API stuff. Look, there's now a form. And let's say I wanna create um, a, a custom object called a num num. And the plural is gonna be num nums. And the name is going to be, uh, this This is the, the primary display property, such as pet name. I love that we have examples here. So pet, pets, pet name. Yeah, we'll just call this a name and make it a, a single line text. And then uh, how about uh, secondary display? We'll call that flavor. And we'll also just make that single line text. Create. And done. I now have num nums created. Here it is. Ta-da. And, uh, you know, we've seen uh, previously associations I can now be created in the UI too. So num nums obviously are going to be associated with pets. A pet can have a num num. And now, ta-da, we have created that association. We could create association labels, but I want to show you this other new thing. Totally new, net new real estate data model overview. What could that be? Well, let's click on it. And look, look, here are all my objects laid out visually with lines connecting them. And we can zoom in and out and we can see, ah, pets can be associated. And num nums can be associated to pets. Pets can be associated to contacts and num nums. And all of my things are here. We can turn them on and off, right? If we want to just see, you know, uh, what they look like. This is going to be so helpful in order for you to see how things are actually connected together visually without having to sort through it anywhere else. This is amazing. This is so much more than I ever imagined we would get when we got custom object creation in the UI. This new data model visualization thing is awesome. Both of those things are rolled together. You can now opt yourself in using that beta management tool. Uh, custom objects continue to be a, uh, uh, an enterprise-only feature. But check it out. Let me know what you think. And let me know if you have any questions.